Hey gents, I was just opening up a fresh pair of Stan Smiths and I was reminded uh, that I'm really, really a big fan of my greats that I opened up a few months ago. And so I just wanted to talk about some of these and uh, a little bit of the differences and why I think that the Stan Smiths are a great shoe. But if I were to buy them again, and actually I'll probably just box these right up, send them back, and buy another pair of greats. So if you walk through an airport in Europe, you would think that the only shoes they sell over there are Stan Smiths. They are everywhere. And it's the case in any, you know, New York, you see them as well. Adidas has styles where you can have, you know, just the three stripe and the dots, but they also have a very similar silhouette with the stripes. And what you're really looking for is the brand and the logo, right? You're, you have the, the classic on the back, and then you just got a really nice clean silhouette. But to me, what the best part about the shoe is, is the silhouette. And the Greats Royale, which I have here, I unboxed these like six months ago. I've been wearing them constantly. They are a little bit higher priced, but the money you spend, I think, is well worth it when you compare between the two. Now, obviously, this is a white shoe. Greats does make a white shoe. I chose the black, but you're looking at full grain uppers on both of these shoes. The main differentiator here is the inside of your Stan Smiths are going to be a synthetic. And this is one where I used to have like stinky, stinky feet. And I never really knew why. I mean, I would change my socks all the time and wash my feet. But when you look at the inside of the Stan Smiths, you've gotten like a cotton mesh and you've got a synthetic lining. And then the sole of the shoe is also some sort of like cotton sole. The greats are a full grain interior as well, which is what helps with the stink so you can go sockless. Now that is just one small detail. The other thing and the reason that why greats has a higher price than the Stan Smiths is that this is Italian leather and it's also made in Italy. So they're designed in Brooklyn and then they're handmade in Italy with Italian leather versus made in China with whatever leather they have from here. And just feeling these right out of the box. The leather feels pretty good here, but this leather feels worn and it is, you can absolutely feel the difference in quality between the two shoes. And that is why you're paying the price premium for the greats over the Stan Smiths. You could essentially buy two pairs of Stan Smiths for one pair of greats, but I would rather have one much higher quality product than a bunch of slightly lower quality products. As we're coming up on summer, I think it is absolutely one of the best staples in a men's wardrobe where you can have just a nice clean white sneaker, which is why I did order the white Stan Smiths here, but I just am not as impressed with these as coming back to the greats. Probably order a white pair of white greats. I love going without socks in the greats. Full grain lined leather on the inside makes that just very uh, delightful. And I caught these at the end of the summer last year. Excited to go through a summer with these this year. And uh, after about a year of total wear with these, I'll come back and do a video. But you can see they're not too worn out after the year. Uh, I have the Stan Smiths that I had for about 18 months were pretty much destroyed by the end. I mean, I wore, I wore them a lot. I wore through them. That's why I've got these new ones here. I just was struck by the two of these because you know, you're looking at basically the same silhouette and you're just looking at a much higher quality, much better crafted shoe overall. I mean, think about it, Greats is only pumping out a few thousand units of these, and then they gotta pump out millions of the Stan Smiths. And when you're looking at more of like a boutique type of brand, you're just getting a higher quality, lower production volumes. Um, and that's what I've found to be the case overall after wearing these for a while. There you have it, Gents Greats, a pretty cool brand out of New York. If you want to check them out, I think there's a account below. I'm not really sure, but if you have any questions about Greats or the shoes I'm wearing for the last six months, you can reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. And you can also comment below. I'll do my best to answer anything you have down there. Got lots of videos on the docket for this week, but as always, any suggestions of companies and products you guys want me to take a look at, I'm always into checking things out for us so we can spread the word, talk about it. And uh, I like to say that I'm like the crash test or the field test dummy for some of these great online brands. Happy to discuss in the comments below and until next time gents, this is the Cavalier.